This week's video is brought to you by the Gaming Deal of the Week. This week, get the Crisis Maximum Edition, a three game pack for under $10. Check out the link in the description below. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! No, what? Is it 2 p.m. already? I guess it is. You folks are back. Hey, it's me, Elric, here on the Motherboards at our YouTube channel. It is August 16th. You guys know that it is the launch of the new GeForce GTX 660 Ti. Now, the car we're going to be looking at right now is from one of the oldest companies in the business. PNY used to be one of the biggest swinging Johnsons in the entire business. They've been around for 27 years, and it's very good to see these guys entering the video card market. So with that said, we're going to take a look at their Performance Edition card, which is basically based off the reference design from NVIDIA, and we'll see what it's all about. So that said, let's jump in and let's check out this new PNY GTX 660 Ti. All right, folks, so here's the outside of the box. We can see this is the PNY Accelerate Performance Edition graphics card. This is their GeForce GTX 660 Ti. And we can see on the box, they actually give you guys a free three month subscription to ESEA. That's pretty cool. Kind of makes the same features as the other cards. And one thing cool you're going to notice here is a lifetime warranty. Now, that's pretty interesting. Most companies don't have a lifetime warranty. A few do, but that's actually a very good warranty policy. So let's flip it around the back. These are some of the games it's supposed to come out with. In fact, there's some really intensive new tessellation features with Max Payne 3 that look really good. Also some new technology gonna be coming out in the secret world. And Borderland 2, you guys all know that's coming out. So now let's jump in and let's actually take a look at what comes inside this box. It's been a long time since I've actually seen anything from PNY, so this is actually a pretty interesting unboxing altogether as I try to figure out how the box opens. Let's see here. Interesting, very interesting box. Ah, it's like a little cap in design there. So I pop the cap. And one thing to note too, you guys can see this box is designed very well to sit on shelves. So you're probably going to see this at like Best Buys and those type of places. So there's the inside of the box, nothing more in there. Uh -huh. It's a magic trick, it's all gone. So, all right. So, got a little bag here. This contains all the goodies that come in there. Let's open that up and check that out. What do we got? What do we got? All right. We've got the Quick Start Guide by PNY. $2.99, Webbro Road. Parapapney, New Jersey. Parasipony, ah, Parasipony, New Jersey. So there you go. You guys want to find them? There's where they're at. DVI, VGA, standard stuff. And we see a single Molex 2 6 pin connector in there as well. Nice empty plastic little place there. You can eat your lunch off, you know. Looks like one of those bento boxes. There should be some rice, some food, you know. And then you flip it open and you get your video card. All right, so there we go. So let's go ahead and take this out. Now this card is a reference-based card. This is the only one of the cards that I got on launch day that's actually 100% based on NVIDIA's reference design. You guys can see it has a plastic shroud covering the entire card. We see a single cooling fan right here. Obviously, the PCI 3.0 interface. Show you guys the side of the card. This card is going to be about 9.5 inches long by 4 inches high by about an inch and a half thick. Flip it around to the other side. You guys can see right here are the two 6-pin power connectors. And then here are the two SLI fingers right here as well. Show you guys the back of the card. Black PCB. Different kind of end cap there. Here's the other side of the card. Last but not least, let's flip it over. Let's check out the rear I.O. Two dual-link DVIs, single HDMI, single standard display port. So that's it, folks. Now, this week we're doing something different. For you folks who like traditional stuff, hop on over to www.motherboards.org where we have the full written review and the benchmarks of this card. So we'll see you over on motherboards.org.